Alright, hey everyone, it's Chris Shelley, back with more Iron Racing. This week we got Arca Bristol, here's qualifying lap. Qualifying run, rather. Two qualifying laps. Running the high side, I ran the high side both laps. I've seen some people run the bottom for some of these corners. But I was just more comfortable practicing than just running the high side. Just a little bit of break. Really try to roll into that gas, get it on the rear, get it sideways, keep the rotation going, and then keep the speed up as well, keep the horsepower in there. A 14, 8, 4, 9, and that was good enough for P3 in qualifying. Uh, there were some heavy hitters in this race that did not finish their qualifying laps. I think they got them invalidated, must have hit the wall or something. So we qualified pretty well. Let's move on to the race here, and I'll talk about my approach and Things like that. Alright, here we are for the race. So it's 50 laps. <laughs> it's a, not a long race, considering like we just came from a 45 lap a week at Rockingham. 50 laps at Bristol is super short. Now my experiment, most of my most of my practice laps are on the top side, but I realized that running the top is gonna wear my tires out really badly. So initially, I was going to try to just run the middle. But I noticed, you see the leader, he's just running the bottom. So I'm just going to run the So I figured, okay, well, I should run like lower than I really should. Or really have practiced. So I adjusted my line a little bit there. So you saw in fall, I was running right up near the wall. Here, I'm going sort of like maybe a car length off the bottom. Trying to stay in the rubber, but running pretty low. So we all, honestly, we got a good start. We got a break there, getting up to the top, and then there's 14 cars, and it's really struggling. And that just gives us such a big cushion back. It's so hard to make the pass this far because the outside line is so strong. It's so hard to clear the pass the bottom. So we are in a grid spot right here. Now I'm running about 60% break. I didn't. Actually, I, I did start tuning it down a bit, down a bit, maybe 58, 58 and a half. And by the end, I tuned it down to 57. Try to keep it loose. I noticed this, just in my experience here at Bristol, in, the, in these stock cars, is that you just really can wear out those tires really fast. So, especially that right front, if you, once you start losing that right front, like I say, once the right front's gone, you're never getting any, you're never going to balance it back. So. You're just going to be constantly struggling after that right front goes. So I was I was really just trying to take it easy. I basically just easing in the corners, getting the brakes. I'm running the middle, which isn't saving the most amount of tire, but it's enough. I was trying to keep in check, but also keep my momentum up. I was not being easy on the right on the right rear. I I would say like I was being pretty aggressive, trying to get to the throttle and then really make it stick get off the corner with the, with the rear grip just to keep that right front um, from working as hard so getting the rotation off from the rears instead of the front you see very low amount of brake just coasting it in there from the brake just like it's like what that's less than 10 percent that's what i recommend now if you're going to run the top it's a little bit different because there's more banking up there, you're going higher, deeper in the corner, just the contour of the track. You probably want to throw a little bit more break as you go into it, then coast, and then pick up the gas as early as you can after you get it started to rotate. Uh, running the top is interesting. I, I think right now the way this track is is very fun. It's very racy because you can just really run anywhere on the track if you really want to. Um, I know if you like look, we look back here. Like you see people, they're battling. You got people just running the top for free. Like they're not, they're not even forced up there. You can run really anywhere around here. It's so fun. I was a little worried that it was just gonna be a, a, a freight train around the top, but it really wasn't at all. It is tough to pass though, but that's honestly what makes it kind of fun. Uh, 
long, but yeah, tough to pass on even tires. I saw like the four teams backed up, backed up the group behind us by two seconds. Meanwhile, you had like Derek Justice and Larry Pace, probably the fastest, the guys you expect to be the fastest. Those are the number one, number one and two guys this race. They didn't qualify. They're they're just coming through the field. But like top three up here, we're chilling. We are very much just chilling. No issues with what happened. I have no issues with what happened now. So we're up 17. Um, now I'm starting to get a little bit more aggressive. I'm like, okay. Tires should be about up to temp right now. Track temperature is also picking up. Um, and I think we saw we started like about 90 degrees. It's up to 92 now. And I'm just like, okay, time to go. No more saving tires. We're easing up to temperature. Let's go. Let's go for it. So now I'm looking way around the 16. And just for gener generally, just for passing, a lot of times you have to look sort of at getting a run off the corner. So that's why I'm really trying to not run too low. I'm trying out a couple different lines. But I want to make sure I am getting a little bit higher in the corner to get more of a run off and be able to position myself to make a pass. And I would honestly love to make a pass on the outside here, just because if you get to the out, someone's right rear, it's just so free. They, um, if you think about it, like you get to the outside and you're running the outside, you are not impacted by the person that's running the bottom unless they decide to crowd you up the track. So I heavily prefer the outside here. 16, close the door. I, tr I have to duck down to the bottom. You know, leaders out to a second half lead. I mean, he's pulling away a little bit. So we're, in, we're struggling a bit. Tracked him, just jumped up again. So it's, it was 90 up to 93, just jumped up to 94. And, I mean, as expected, you got 20 something cars on a track, on a half mile track. A lot of temperature variation, so you're gonna have to be moving around the track. I think at this point in the race, a lot of people are probably running the top, and I think the top is starting to fade just because it's got so hot. So higher temperatures lower equals lower grip, less grip essentially. It's more slick track. So, I think. I think run goes on, you want to go essentially where other people aren't going. And also, I think the bottom is just favored in general over the long run because it's just less low to the tires. So here you are, we get to his right rear, let's see if we can make a stick. Again, we have to look low to make sure we don't throw away too much momentum. Almost touch. I think we had like a zero X there, just a very light scrape. I don't think any either of us felt it that much. Leaders out to two seconds, and I'm thinking, okay, we gotta get around this guy now. So I jump up to the outside, and he finally gives me the space here. I almost, I li I literally scrape the wall because he almost doesn't give me the space, but I get to him, and he try it, and he shuts the door again. <laughs> he had a very strong uh, run three and four right there. Here I jump up to the very top and this time he can't stop me. So here from the very top you can see jumping into the gas using a little bit more brake than I was before. Getting the car to hook up and ripping the top and we're gone. P2. Now the 14 is also gained on us a bit because we were because of all that battling. So he's down to 1.6. And then, honestly, I'm surprised there wasn't that much lap traffic. I guess that's because it was a fairly strong split. But there was not, lap traffic wasn't much, much of an issue as I thought it would be. Like, I think it's just like the first car that we actually had to, first lap car that we actually had to pass was not that bad. Okay, less than 20 laps to go. You already know who I'm setting my sights on. This, this number four car in the lead. So, 
for some reason, he just really started losing the handle. So we just uh, we started running it out. And of course, I wasn't the fastest car on the track. You can see like this, this number one car coming into the <laughs> onto our relative in the top left, running a tenth faster than I am per lap. So we were at the fastest, but because we had the track position for qualifying, next to finishing our qualifying lap and starting up front, we are in the prime spot, this leader, the leader is running out of tire, so we're in, I think we're doing really good. So, so we ran him down in just like a few laps, his tire took a shot, you're gone. So now I'm just, I need to brainstorm how many I need to get around him. He's running sort of a more defensive line on his high side. But I know I just need to get, at least to get this long side of him, I'm going to have to get a better exit. So there I jump on the brakes to not run him over because he he's having even <laughs> worse issues on corner entry than I expected. Jump up to the top, try to cut down the track, and here we go, run the bottom. So we trail brake, try to get it to rotate, doesn't quite get there, he, he holds on to it for now, but we are strong. He has issues off turn two, and I think this is, this is just like, at this point, I start running the middle, because he's running the very top, that gives me space for the middle. I take the lead heading to the corner so I can control sort of uh, where I go, and I clear him, and I'm gone. He has no tire left to run me down. Now it's just about me holding on to this spot and hoping that uh, Derek Justice doesn't run us down. Yeah, you don't want the pro drivers. <laughs> you don't want to give the pro driver a chance to catch you. But we only had coming up seven laps to go, so we are in a, I mean, we're chilling. Like I've, I've said that before, so I think we're chilling, we just took the lead. At this point, as long as we just don't keep it out of the wall, no one can challenge us. I don't know if he had a good win. Good run, good run. So, I would say definitely, I mean, I didn't even, when I got to the end of this race and I checked, compared tire or values with other people, it's like my tire wear was not even that much better than most other cars is just that it's the track position I think part of it might also be me running the high side and then part of it might be some a couple of those blunders where I heated the tires up or it was battling that's gonna heat up your tires I think I could have I think at some point I just really lost the right front and then and then like I didn't lose it as bad as the four car so maybe I shouldn't say I really lost it but it got a little tight you can see, like, I'm really trying to gas it up. Like, I'm not, I don't even need to really play with the throttle. Absolutely, like, not counter steering at all. I'm on corner exit, just like, it's so under steering. I'm just getting right to the gas and trying to get all the power down. I'm not trying to push the limit of the rear tires on the exit. Just wasn't more tape. I'm glad this is only a 50 lap race and not a 100 lap race because we would have been in trouble. I think we would definitely have been in trouble. You can see the times that we're getting beat. Uh, here's the what the leader was doing. I mean, not the leader, the one car was doing. He was just running the bottom. Really sort of taking a narrow, shallow entry. He moves up a little bit there, but very shallow entry lets it slide up a little bit. The corner. But hey, we win. We're the winners. So that's how you win a race. Very quick, I mean, 50 laps at a 15 second a lap track. Not very long. So had a couple battles, some fun, fun moves there, and we take the take the lead, take the win. Thank you for watching. I'm Chris Shelley. Uh, I hope you like this video. Um, yeah. Please like and subscribe for more. See y'all.